Hey everybody, Lightning Spirit 78 here. Welcome back to some more of Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Last time we took care of uh, a little bit of Honey Hive Galaxy and Loop de Loop Galaxy. Yeah, Loop de Loop. And in this episode, we're going to take on the rest of Honey Hive. So let's just get to it. Flying. Okay. I don't know why I just had to say that. I mean, it was just flying right into the screen. Nothing special. Uh, as you can see, I turned off the game and uh, got some more lives. So. Yeah, they start you out with four, and then they give you 20, and I found a one up on the, uh, near the, uh, stars room, so, yeah, that's what I did there. You see what I did there, dar. Anyway, uh, I didn't even see what this mission was called. Ah, trouble on the tower, this one. Ah, this one's not too bad, wait, ah, screw it, I was gonna go see, ah, dang it! I was gonna go see what that bee said, but you know what, I don't really care. In all honesty. Alright, get these squishy things away. Get away from me, squishy things. Ah, dang it. I keep wanting star bits, and I'm getting too greedy for them. Uh, these things right here, you can just ground pound on and destroy them. In fact, this is kind of relevant later, I guess you could say. Fail. I wanted to break that gigantic tower up there, but okay, I guess I won't. Yay, coins of salvation. Uh, okay, this thing, shoot it with star bit, you get a coin. And a pretty, pretty flower, and I went the completely wrong direction, I just found out. You wanna kill this guy, I believe. No, no, it's not that guy. Well, you know what? Forget it. We're doing it my way. We're taking a shortcut. Uh, technically, you could do this from the beginning of the level. Oh, wait, is that a one up? Why, well, yes, it is. Secret one ups. Uh, technically you could do this from the beginning of the level, but it's kind of hard to do. Uh, what you want to do is just walk up this, then spin. Walk up, spin. Anytime you have the opportunity to spin up that thing, spin before you lose traction. And slide down the, uh, thing. Alright, question mark. Walk or star bits. I like how the bees are all, like, round pounding into the ground. And how are their stingers not getting stuck into the ground? That's my question. I mean, seriously now. I mean, they're bees, and they got stingers on their bum, which is basically how they ground pound. I would assume. So, wouldn't their stingers... Uh, whatever. I'm overanalyzing things. Anyway, kill the wiggler. Whoa, I thought I overshot that. Alright, this thing. Ground pound that, and it creates a staircase. Alright, so come on. Up there. Try to see if there's any nice little speedrunning tactics I can do here. Cause that's the main reason I like playing as Luigi because he's a lot quicker than uh, Mario in my opinion. Like this, see? He had the wall jump. There you don't. Whee. Just backflip. Only with Luigi can you do that. Actually, I don't even know. You probably do with Mario too, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to say that to be epic, and Piranha Plants do not want me to be epic. That is the rule of life. Piranha plants do not like you. That is one thing you should earn in this life. Ooh, another rainbow star. Alright, I could kill the piranhas here, and I could kill the wiggler. But, well, I just did what I said I was going to do anyway. But, what you should do is ground pound, and we rainbow spazziness. That didn't make my capture card freak out. If it did, I'm going to be very, very sad. Alright, swing. Oh, crap. Didn't think I was going to make that. Ah, oh, these enemies right here. We're gonna be seeing a lot. Ah, okay, okay. We'll play by your rules. Die. Those things here, I believe, are called Mandy bugs. I think that's what they're called. I'm 90% sure that's what they're called. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say they are Mandy bugs. And if I'm wrong, then a thing will come up and correct me. If I'm not, then I'm awesome. Yay. Anyway, let's ride up this windmill. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, starbits. Hello, star bit. Got it. Uh, wouldn't doing a no star bit run of this game be like a, just a jerk? Or of any galaxy game, to be honest. It'd just be a jerk. But anyway, we got a mini boss here. Uh, there was a little baby Mandy bug on its back, but we switched it. So yeah, now this big one's all ticked. And it's like, ah, I'm gonna kill you, but I'm the least threatening mini boss in all of video game history. Not really. Uh, I guess it could kill you if it hit you and knocked you off the thing. I mean, heck, it could probably like knock you off here or something if you're not careful and throw you into the abyss. But anyway, you got a star. Oh, come on. You know I have to say that at some point. 
It looks like we discovered a new galaxy. And with that, we've also discovered a Hungry Luma. Uh, Hungry Lumas, what those are, I will get into in just a little bit. Um, basically, what you need to do is collect a bunch of star bits in the galaxies, and um, coincidentally, I already have enough star bits for the Hungry Luma. But I'll be getting this the Hungry Luma after we're done with the, uh, the majority of the uh, terrace here. I'll probably get it before the boss. Like, the main boss. Anyway, time to go back to Honey Hive Galaxy and take on Big Bad Bugaboom. That guy has such a weird name. I mean, Big Bad Bugaboom. Like Blink said, alliterations for the win. Anyway, off we go. And the bees are gonna be like, ah, the Mandy Bugs, they've taken over our bee kingdom. Ah, oh, see, he, see, see, Mandy Bugs. Ah, huh, I was right. And that, okay, fine, you get away. You? Not so much. You know what? D I will not hit you, B! Dang it! No! That's what I get for not letting the Mandy Bug live peacefully. Remember, kids, don't try and squish bugs, because they'll fight back. Unless they're spiders or bees, and kill them. Because nobody likes them. I'm sorry, but I don't. Bees, they sting, and spiders, they... Bleh. Yeah, they can fight you. They can fight you and cause all kinds of problems. I guess it depends if you're allergic to spider bites or if you're allergic to bee stings, depending on how bad they are for you. But I don't know. I've never been stung by a bee before, so I don't know if I'm allergic. And I've never been stung by a spider either, so... Same rules apply. I just know that they're creepy and they freak me out, so... Yeah. Not a big bug fan. That's why I'm not a big fan of this galaxy, but whatever. Ah, uh, here we got something new. Uh, that is a, um, life extension mushroom. <laughs> I just noticed Luigi stuck up in, uh, mid-ground pal. <laughs> That's funny. Um, if you grab one of those, um, life extension mushrooms, uh, your health grows from three to six. However, it goes below four, then yeah, it goes back to normal. Meaning it goes back to just a regular old counter. Uh, I never really find these things too useful, except for some of the later galaxies. And you really don't need it for this boss because this boss is not that bad. And the queen's like, our neighbors are causing us a nuisance. Would you go and fly off and kill them? And I'll be like, sure, why not? That'll be fun. Anyway, get this thing. And become Bee Luigi and fly on a flower because we can't ride that flower as normal Luigi, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not gonna go find out. And spin and fly. All right, where are you, Bugaboom? Oh, there he is. See, he's just a gigantic green Mandy Bug. Just all you gotta do is, oh God. Um, don't do that, and don't go in the water. All you gotta do is fly and ground pound on his back. Right where the little ground pound sy uh, symbol is. That little spiky thing on his back. That's a ground pound sy uh, symbol. A lot of bosses have that. More so in Galaxy 2 than Galaxy 1, I've noticed, but. Still, some bosses, when you gotta ground pound them, they have it. I missed! Aw, oh, come on. Oh, now you're shooting out little bug of bombs. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what they're called, but still. I like my name, it's funny. Bug of bombs. Bug of boom bombs. Nah, still with bug of bombs. And, uh, I guess you could hang on to this little sticky stuff right there. But I'm not going to. <sighs> okay, maybe I will. So I don't get a feeling he's gonna come. Come on, come on. Die! Oh! Dang, I saw him. He was right no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Ah! God dang it. Alright, I'm being a little hasty here. Ah, get away from the bug bomb. Ah, I've never had this much trouble in this boss before. Jeez. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah. I guess I'll wait. Come on, back round. And die, buddy! That's what you get for causing me all that strife. Jeez. Thank goodness. He's not a hard boss, either. That's a frustrating thing. Ah, but whatever. Anyway, just come over here and get a star. Bugaboom did. Oh, yeah. And once again, we've discovered a new galaxy. 
What does our Luma friend have to say? We've discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope that they're not misusing that poor Grand Star. Basically, the enemy base he's talking about is right here. However, we won't be taking on that yet. Ah, uh, no, not good, Egg. We have nothing to do here. And we have nothing to do in Honey Hive or Loop-de-Doop. -loop. So let's take on the final galaxy of the Terrace besides the uh, main boss, which is Flip Switch. Which, this is a totally misleading title, just gonna let you know. Painting the planet yellow. You'll see why this is misleading in a few minutes. Well, hopefully not a few minutes. Hopefully I can get this done rather quickly because this galaxy is pathetically easy in my opinion. Now watch me slide off and fall into the black hole. Uh, I hope not. Because I like the background here. Good old NES graphics in the back. Like, you know, like NES Mario backgrounds. Oh, good. Uh, whatever you do, don't touch this thing. At least on the spike area. Alright, basically what you need to, do, need to do here is just do the whole same old uh, sw flip switch mechanics here. Actually, no, these aren't flip switches. Why is it that... Uh, you're gonna see this a lot in my... Uh, this Let's Play. My nunchuck acts in such a way that... Or sometimes even my Wemo too. Like, I wanted to long jump, and I wanted to spin so I knew I could make it. But for some reason, it thought that I was doing a homing ground pound when I just wanted to spin regularly. And sometimes my nunchuck doesn't let me, you know, you know, perform in galaxies the way you should. So, if I do something stupid like ground pound when I'm not supposed to, like, pfft. in fact, I'll bet you 10 bucks that's probably what happened in the first episode there with that first, like, second fail, but whatever. Nunchuck fail aside, you'll be seeing it 20 probably in this LP. Either way, you got a star. And now that we got that star, I think we have just enough time for one last galaxy to make 10 stars. In fact, yeah, we have 10 minutes. I should be able to get this done in about two and a half or so. Shouldn't be too long. We're going to go out here and we're going to take on this Hungry Luma Galaxy. These galaxies are optional, but if you have any tasty star bits, which this cool guy needs 400, which we conveniently have almost 500, we're going to feed him all the candy we got, except for 98 of them. And he's going to be like, that's it, I'm stuffed. Transform powers activate! And the sweet, sweet galaxy has appeared. It's one of my personal favorite galaxies, even though I think it's a little hard for one of the beginning galaxies, but technically you can take it on whenever you want, so I guess it's not that bad. Anyway, this is the Rocky Road. <laughs> Funny. Shout out to you, Rocky, because this galaxy's named after you, or at least his mission is. Well, no, I guess it's not the rock solid road, but still, we call him Rocky, so. Whatever. Anyway, uh, what you gotta do is cross this cookie cutter road thing here. Don't fall through the little cookie cutter patterns. And just cross the little candies. Or, well, I guess that's candy, I guess you could say. Cause it's not sticky, so it's nothing gooey like uh, frosting or anything like that. It looks like hard candy. Or uh, hard cookie dough or something. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys have to say? Star on the car. Can't. Oh, how could you not go any further? There's so much food here to replenish you. Now look at that frosting dripping from the lock. Okay, now I'm getting hungry. Uh, this part's probably the hardest or something. Because uh, you can kind of get it screwed over here. Ugh. Great. Oh, hey. I didn't think we hit a checkpoint, which there was no checkpoint here, so what the heck. Oh, well, at least it saved me from cutting the video. And from wasting too much time. Ugh, we couldn't have just died when we got the one-up. Well, I guess that makes up for our stupid death. Alright, long jump, go! 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 Okay, I'm getting a little too hasty here. I'm not watching where I'm going. Oh crap! Just get to the waffle! This thing looks like a waffle to me. And this thing looks like a gigantic yummy cake. And under the star, spin to get a bunch of star bits out of some raspberries. And this guy's like, hey, we're going back! Nope, I'm getting the star first. So you're not coming back with me, boys. And you get the star. However, I 
think, oh wait, we got something going on here, don't we? Well, you know what? We're going to save whatever this is for the next episode. So, as you can see, we got 10 stars. So, in the next episode, we're going to see what Rosalina wants. And then we're probably going to take on... Uh, actually, I know we're going to take on the main boss of the terrace. So, see you guys then. Bye-bye.